So Wikipedia summarised the term EVP very nicely. They suggest that EVP, or electronic voice phenomena, are sounds that are found on electronic recordings that are often interpreted as spirits' voices. So these have either been recorded unintentionally or intentionally requested as a call-out and then recorded. So they continue to suggest that enthusiasts consider EVP to be a form of paranormal phenomena, often found in recordings with static or other background noise, so very similar to ghost boxes, etc., with a lot of hiss and crackle. So many scientists and sceptics, however, regard EVP as a form of auditory pareidolia. So this is a traditional style voice recorder which is often used in paranormal research for recording EVPs or electronic voice phenomena. So I'll start by uh, showing you how to use this tool. So simply press record. So you call out, is anybody there? And then you'd wait obviously to see if you get a, a response and the idea is to just stop that and then to play it back. So you call out, is anybody there? And then you wait. So on this recorder, which is quite handy, you can change the speed. So you call out, is anybody there? Hold that down. So we can slow this down. So we can actually half the speed of the playback. So it's a really good feature. That you should uh, ideally have on a on an EVP player because it will save you editing uh, the EVPs when you get home. So I suggest you use a good pair of headphones, go somewhere quiet and listen back to your EVPs and listen out for those hidden voices. Also, uh, if we look at the, the menu on this recorder, you get specific settings. So we've got high level recording mode, which again is good. So you can change the sensitivity of a microphone We've also got an SD card slot on the side. Another important feature as well is you've got an external microphone input and a headphone output. And on more advanced recorders like this one, you'll also have different filters. So you can actually filter um, low and high noises out of your EVPs. So it'll either tune them to speech or shift the actual recording curve to the left or right a little bit so you'll see that filter for the voice here so you can have a voice filter on or off so it'll be specifically looking for voices or you can have a broader wave to your uh, to recording so what we'll do is just show you that once more so you press record hello if you'd like to reach out and talk to us please tell us your name And then we'd listen back. Hello. If you'd like to reach out and talk to us, please tell us your name. Okay, so we'll now look at some alternatives to a traditional device. So they can either be uh, applications on smartphones and tablets, and then also a device called an EVP sampler, which we also build and stock on our ghost hunting equipment store. Another handy feature this recorder has is an integrated USB plug. So you can plug this into your laptop and then extract all your recordings off it quite simply 
and then upload them to a program like Audacity for review. So the EVP sampler is very similar to an EVP recorder. However, it just records set 10 second samples. So the beauty of this is that in the field, it can be played back at different rates without any editing software. So if I record, you'll see the record light will come on and it will sample for 10 seconds. So it's important this dial is set to 12 o'clock. So if I record, you'll see the record light will come on and it will sample for 10 seconds. So as you would for any other EVP session, so you'd ask a question and call out. Um, so you can call out your question before you record or you can record, but just bear in mind you've only got 10 seconds. So if we say something as simple like, is anybody there? So is anybody there? And then we can play that back by pressing the play is button. There? And we can alter the speed. So if you think you hear something, So it's often said that EVPs are heard at, at lower playback speeds, probably about 70 to 80% of their original recorded speed. Is anybody there? So the box has got a removable microphone, so you can actually plug in a microphone of your choice via the 3.5 millimeter input it's also got an output as well so you can connect that to your own EVP recorder or laptop to take the samples off the unit one two three four five So now looking at the iPhone, we're looking at some of the apps that you can get for your phone that are really, really uh, good at recording ITC and EVPs out in the field. So this one is called WavePad. So it's the icon to the right. So you can simply press the record button to start recording. Hi, this is Andy from Infraready. Once you've called out your question, you leave some time to pass by for the response to be recorded as you would in any EVP. So you'd leave a blank space for say 10 seconds. Then you'd press stop. So once you've stopped there, you can highlight different parts of a track and you can play that back. You can see there, you can stop recording. see there you can stop recording and what you can do then uh, you can increase levels etc so you can put uh, amplify you can apply that so a lot amplify that section you can see there you can stop recording uh, you can also equalize so you'll see the time is from left to right and then you can actually apply uh, a real-time equaliser to that so you can apply that and you'll see when I play it back you can see there you can stop recording that uh, that will take effect you can also add effects like reverb we'll put quite a heavy reverb on there and apply that playback you can see there you can stop recording you can see there you can stop recording you can also change your speed as a profile so I could probably start off by playing it slow and then it will speed it up at the end. You can zoom right in to the waveform so it's easy when you're scanning for uh, your responses. So you can see peaks. You can actually search for the peak levels as well. You see you've got a peak finder. So you can press OK and it'll find the, the loudest points. You can remove noise and apply different uh, noise reduction settings. 
So if we look at the menus, you've got your general home menu, which is your opening files, sharing files, save into the cloud, etc. Uh, and then your general editing sections. You've got a more comprehensive editing menu, which allows you to loop, cut and paste, delete sections, tidy things up. Uh, then your levels is your equalizers and you can silence certain sections. You've got a whole bunch of effects. And again, things to, like I said, we can reverse that section so it plays backwards. So if we move the editing screen, some time to pass by for the response to be received. Some time to pass by. So if we just some time to pass part. by for the response to be recorded. Did all hear it's not here of how it's happened license. Did all hear it's not here of how it's happened license. And you can hear that uh, playing back. Did all hear it's not here of how it's happened license. Playing backwards. Okay, so quickly to run you through that again, we press the red button to record. So you'd call out, hello, anyone there? You'd then wait for 10 seconds. Um, you'd then press stop record. You can then save your file as either an MP3 or any of these others. So you can have a FLAC uh, lossless audio file. We'll stick it MP3 at 192 kilo, kilobytes per second. And we can save that. Uh, once it's saved, you can then start to edit in and save reiterations of that so you don't lose your original information. So, as I mentioned earlier, you can really start to, to zoom into the blank areas um, between your call outs and you can search for peak areas. You can then highlight different sections, record. So, you'd Play call out, back. hello, anyone there? You can uh, amplify those areas. Record. So, you'd call out, Hello, anyone there? Effects. Reverb. You'd then wait. Record. So you'd call. Record. So you'd call out. Hello, anyone there? Change the speed of those. Record. So you'd call out. Hello, anyone there? And then, uh, forgot where it is now. But you can reverse. That section too. So an excellent all-in-one tool. You've got the power of your phone, which is uh, obviously quite an expensive piece of equipment, more expensive than any EVP player out there, and potentially most laptops. So use that to its full potential and start using some of these apps for your ITC recorder.